Happy Joe Team Body by BJ. We are back today for another core workout. So today we're going to be using our medicine ball, our mini Pilates ball, and our medium resistance loop. So let's go ahead and let's get this party started. So let's go ahead. Let's just take it onto our butt. Let's grab our little mini ball. Let's bring it between the knees. And let's use those inner thighs. Squeeze that mini ball. And I just want you to sit up nice and tall. As we exhale, we're just gonna lower it down into that good C position. And then let's just roll it back up. Exhale, let's roll it down, reach it forward. Inhale, pull back up. Let's do that two more times. Exhale, roll it down, reach it up there. Inhale, pull back up. One more time. Let's roll it halfway down, hold it. Inhale, bring it back up. Let's take it all the way down onto our back. And let's just bring those knees up. Keep squeezing that ball, engaging those inner thighs. Pulling that low back down to the floor. Bring your arms straight up to the side. And let's take it into some windshield wipers. So let's bring it down to one side. Keeping those shoulders flat down. Inhale, pull back up. Exhale. Lower it down to the side, both shoulders flat down. Inhale, back up. Down to the side. Inhale, back up. Let's go seven more. Seven. And pull back up. Six. It's okay if those knees don't go all the way down. That's your range of motion. Everyone's range of motion is a little bit different. We really want to focus on keeping those shoulders flat down to the ground. Twisting through those obliques, getting a little bit of rotation through that spine, warming everything up. Let's go two more. Two. And one more. One. And hold. Let's go ahead, take those hands behind the head. Let's take it, we're going to crunch it in, lower body and upper body, back to that start position. Squeeze it in and down. So we're going to exhale. Inhale back down, doing that good double crunch. Exhale. Inhale, warming up that core. Exhale. Inhale, keeping that neutral spine as we bring it back down. Make sure we're not arching. Let's go eight more. Eight. Seven. You've got this. Six, waking up that core. Five, keeping those elbows nice and wide. Four. Three, keep that belly button pulling in. Two, give me one more. One, and let's hold. Let's bring those legs up. Let's move that ball up in between the calves. Slightly externally rotate those legs. Squeeze that ball nice and strong. Let's bring those hands behind the head. Let's crunch it on up. And we're going to lower it down. Inhale, back up. Exhale, lower down, keeping everything pulling in. Back up, here we go. Lower it down. Inhale, back up. You got this, keep squeezing that ball. Bring it down. Pull it back up, staying nice and high in that core. Lower down. Pull back up. Let's go five more. Five. And pull. Four. Keep squeezing. And pull. Three. And pull. You got this. Two. And pull. One. And pull. Let's grab that ball. Let's bring those feet down. Let's take that ball in the right hand. Reach it all the way back. Let's bring that left leg all the way out. We're going to keep that left hand behind the head. What we're going to do is we're going to crunch it in, reach to the outside, and back down. Let's reach it in. Bring it back down. Twisting through that spine, keeping that left shoulder, left elbow on the ground. As we reach it over, we squeeze it on in. Back down. Bring it in and down. Make sure as we lower back 
down, we're not letting that low back arch up. We're keeping that good rib to hip in front. Let's go 10 more, 10. Nine, you got this. Eight. Seven. Six. Breathe it out, you got it. Remember, keep that left side on the ground. Here's three. Two, one more, you ready? Hold it there, and let's pulse for 10. Nine. Eight, seven, six, five, I know they're burning, four, three, two, one, and hold it, squeeze, squeeze for three, two, one, bring it all the way down, bring that ball on the left hand, extend that right leg, right arm behind the head, right elbow, right shoulder stays down, let's take that left side, the outside of the right and back down. Pull it in, reach. Back down. Reach. And down. Really getting that good twist through those obliques. Keeping that core engaged as we lower back down. Bring it up. Back down. Up. And down. Let's go 10 more. 10. You guys are looking strong. Nine. Eight, seven, of course you gotta breathe it out. Six, keep that right shoulder right up on the ground. Five, and of course we're doing it with a smile. Four, three, two, and holding. Here we go, let's pulse. Pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one, and hold it. Squeeze everything. Squeeze. Squeeze for three, two, one. Lower it back down. Excellent job. All right. Let's bring those knees back up. Let's bring that ball in between the knees again. And we're going to bring those hands right under our booty. So since we went forward with the last one, with just the top, let's take it with just the bottom. Let's bring it up. Bring it up, the nose and knees pulling together. Bring it up, they're rolling up that spine from the bottom to the top. Bring that pelvis in, roll it up. Try to get that little squeeze on top. Pressing down with those arms, roll it up, roll it down. Roll it up. Roll it down. Let's go eight more. Eight. Try to get that little pause up on top. Seven. You got this. Six. Five. You're looking good. I know they're burning. Four. Three. Two. One more. Here we go. And one. Bring those feet down. Keep squeezing that ball. Since we've done a lot of flexion, let's go ahead and extend. Open up those hips. And let's just hold it here. Take that good deep breath in. Keep squeezing that ball. And let's let those hips come down. And let's lift it back up. Hips go down. Hips go up. Let's go five more. Five. And up. Four, and up, three, here's two, one more, and let's roll it down that spine, each vertebrae, articulating down, let's go ahead, let's bring that ball out, and let's just throw it to the side, let's flip it over, onto our front, Let's go into our plank position. Let's bring those hands right underneath the shoulders. Let's extend those legs back. Squeeze those heels together. Squeeze our legs. Squeeze the booty. Pull that belly button in, get flat back. Pulling those shoulder blades down into the rib cage. 
Feel that tightness between the rib cage and the shoulder blades and between your hips and your rib cage. Let's just hold it here. Take that good deep breath in through the nose. Exhale out through the mouth. You got this. Inhale. And exhale. Let's bring those feet slightly apart. Here's where it gets challenging. We're going to lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lifting. You got this. Lift. Let's go eight more. Eight. Seven. Keep that booty down there. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Hold it there. Let's just squeeze. Let's bring it down. Onto our hands and knees. Good tabletop position. Let's give the upper body just a little bit of rest before the next one. And we're going to focus. I'm just tucking that tailbone in and back to neutral. Tuck it in, back to neutral. It's really tempting, especially being a former gymnast, that as we let go back to neutral, we start to really arch that back and stick the booty out. Really think it's just neutral spine. Tuck it forward, back to neutral. Tuck it in, back to neutral. So we're getting that good tilting under position. Pull that pelvis up towards that rib cage and controlling as it goes back. Pull it in. And down one more time. Pull it in. And back down. I'm going to grab the pad for the next one. We're going to bring it down onto the forearms. We're going to go back into that good plank position. Feet are together. This is a strong position that we're going to be doing for the next one. We're going to tap the hip to the side. Bring back up. Tap and up. Tap it down. I want you to really concentrate on keeping that back nice and strong. I know it's tempting as we get tired to let that saggy back start to happen. I also want you to keep pushing through those arms nice and strong. Make sure we're not collapsing into that shoulder joint. Let's tap and pull. Tap and pull. Really working through those sides. Pull and up. Kind of through those obliques. Through those love handle areas. Let's go eight more. Eight. Keep those thighs nice and strong. Seven. Six. You got this. Five, I know they're burning. Four, three, two, and one. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Bring it down and let's sit it back. Hips to heels. Open up that shoulder joint. Reach those hips all the way back to our heels. Tuck that tailbone under. And then that low back in a little stretch, a little breather. Good deep breath in through the nose. Deep breath out. Excellent job. Let's go ahead. Let's move that pad away. And let's go back onto our back side. Let's bring it all the way down. We're going to bring it up into our tabletop. Facing forward. So knees right over the hips, arms are right over those shoulders, squishing that imaginary grape that's underneath our spine. And we're going to take it with just the legs first. Reach that leg out. I want you to squeeze that quad. Squeeze your booty. Pull back up. Reach and squeeze. Pull back up. Once you have that, really focus on keeping that low back, squishing that grape. We have that good tightness between your ribs and your hips. Your shoulders are reaching up, but keep them away from those ears. You're starting to have shoulder blades at the earrings. Let's go two more. Here's two, and pull. One, and pull. So today we're doing a little bit different. We usually alternate, but today it's just gonna be the right arm, left leg, here we go. 
Reach it out. Hold for that second. Squeeze back in. Reach. And squeeze. Reach. And squeeze. Give me one more like this. Reach. And squeeze. This time, as we come up, we're going to add that crunch. And we're going to reach towards the inside of that left foot. So we're going to reach it out. Hold for that second. Squeeze it in. Reach it out. Squeeze it all the way in. Give me three more. Squeeze. Keep squishing that grip as we go back down. And reach one more. Lengthen and squeeze. And back to tabletop. Excellent job. So we have to do the other side. Left arm, right foot. Here we go. Reach it out for five. And pull back out. Here's four. Inhale. Exhale, breathe it out. Inhale. And exhale. You got this. Reach. And pull. Give me one more. Reach. And pull. You guys ready? Next five, we pull it all the way in. So let's reach. Squeeze it in there. Reach it. Squish that low back down. Pull it on in. Here's three. And squeeze. Come on, you got this. Two, I know they're burning. Let's go one more. Reach. And pull. And back to tabletop. Let's bring it down. Let's bridge it up once again. Bring those arms down. Palms up. Relax the fingers. Relax those arms. Just opening up through the front of the hips, through the hip flexors. Keeping that booty tucked under. It's not about lifting up with the belly button. We're tucking that pelvis under. Let's take two good deep breaths over here. Inhale. And exhale. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Roll it down that spine. All right, as promised, if you have your resistance bands, let's take it around the arches of the feet. We're going to bring it back down into that tabletop position. This time, hands are going to go behind the head. We're going to add a little bit of resistance for those bicycle legs. So let's start with the top. Press that low back down. Pull the ribs and hips to lift the chest and shoulders. Let's flex those feet, keeping them hip width apart. Here we go. We're going to press it out. Pull back in. Press. And pull back in. Keep them apart. Push. And in. Push. And in. Let's go eight more. Eight. Keep that good lifted chest. Seven. Six. You've got this. Five. Four. Can you guess what's coming next? Three. Since that chest is up. Two. One more, one and hold. Twist it up towards that leg. Bring it back to center. Twist and center. Twist and center. So we get to add in those obliques. We get to keep that good, strong, lifted chest as we come back to center. Squeezing that quadricep. Squeezing that booty as we extend it out. Give me six more, six. Keeping both hip bones flat on the ground. Four, three, you've got this. Two, come on, one more. One, excellent job. Let's bring this head and shoulders down. Let's go ahead. Let's take that tubing off. Let's bring those legs up. Let's take the hands behind the head once again. We get to lift that head and shoulders. Externally rotate those legs just slightly. We're going to drop the leg down. And we switch and switch for eight, seven, six, five, four. You got this. Three, two, one, and hold. Let's add the twist for ten. Nine. You got this. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one, bring it back to the center, bring those knees in, and let's just rock it side to side, nice and easy, 
giving that low back a little massage. Let's bring those feet down again. Tuck that pelvis under. Open up the front. And just taking those good deep breaths in and out. Let that arms relax down by the side. No tension through the neck or the shoulders. Just getting that good stretch through the front. Keep that rib to hip engaged in the core. And let's roll it back down. Let's take it onto our side. So a couple different ways that you can do this. You can either have the feet on top of each other, you can have your top foot in front, or you can have the bottom knee bent. So I'm gonna go with a more advanced, and all I want you to do, we're gonna lift it up into that side plank. If you need to have that hand in front for a little bit of extra stabilization, go ahead and do that. If not, let's just take it up on that hip, really pressing through that base arm, pulling through that ribbon hip, Belly button pulling into the spine, legs squeezing together. And let's lift that arm all the way up. Let's hold it here for 10, nine, you've got this. Eight, seven, you're looking strong. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's bring it down, bring those knees in. And let's stretch it over. And that good stretch through that side. Let's bring it over to our other side. Once again, you place your feet where you need them to be for your skill level. Let's bring it on that. Let's hold it. Squeezing those legs together. Our booty is tight. Pressing down through that arm. Make sure we're not collapsing into that shoulder joint. Pulling through that side. Belly button in. Let's reach that arm up. Straight line, fingertip to our elbow. Remember, no tension in that neck. Pull those shoulder blades down into the ribs. Engage those lats. Making that shoulder joint really have to stabilize. Give me 10, nine, you got this. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, let's bring it down, bring those knees in. Let's reach it over and stretch. Excellent job. We're not done with those side planks yet though. Let's bring those feet back over. This time we're gonna keep that bottom leg bent, top leg straight, and go back up into that side plank. And what it's gonna be, we're gonna take that top arm, we're going to reach it through, kind of lift that hip, and then bring it back to neutral. We're going to lift up through that hip, pull through, back to center. Excellent job. Reach it up, back to neutral. Let's reach and lower. Excellent job. Reach it and lower. Give me four more. Four and neutral. Really lift through that hip, lift through that core as we get that good stretch through. Here's two. And neutral one more time. Reach it through. Back to center. And let's bring it down. Let's bring those legs all the way over once again. Let's get in that good starting position. Knee is bent. Top leg straight. Reach that arm up there. You ready? Here we go. Lift that hip, pull through, back to neutral. Lift it and twist, back to neutral. Here's eight and neutral. Little lifting up through that core, back to neutral. Six, breathe it out and center. Here's five and center. You got this. Four. And center. Three. And center. Here we go. Two more. Two. And down. One more. One. And down. Let's bring it all the way down. Don't worry. I'm not forgetting about our medicine ball. Since we warmed up with those twists, let's grab that medicine ball. Let's lean it back. Hold it into that chest. 
and we're gonna twist it side to side, trying to keep that lower body and our booty as stationary as we can as we twist it side to side through the shoulders, through the obliques, through that rib cage. Keep that tailbone tucked under, get a rib to hip in that core. Let's go 20 more. 20, 18, 16, two up, 10, eight, six, four, and let's hold it. Hold it here, hold it, hold it, hold it. Come on, you've got this. Bring those toes up, you ready? Let's do a couple more. Side to side, really stabilizing through that core, through those legs, twisting through that rib cage. Come on. I know that core is getting tired, but you can do this. Give me 10 more, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's bring it down. Excellent job. Let's throw that away. Let's go one more. You ready? Into our plank. Let's hold it. Let's get in that good starting position. Belly button in. Arms are nice and strong. Draw that knee in. Here we go. Mountain climbers. Driving those legs in. Keeping those shoulders stationary. Keeping our butt down. No booty towards the ceiling. This is your last exercise. You've got this. Come on. 10 more. 10. 9. 8. 7. 6. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Hold that plank. Hold it. Hold it. I know it's tiring, but you've got this. That whole body is having a fire here for 10, 9, 8, come on, 7, no stop, and 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, bring those knees down, sit back, hips to heels, lengthen through those shoulders, lengthen through that back, tuck that tailbone under, get that good deep breath in, deep breath out. Let's bring it back to tabletop. Let's go into that angry cat. Round it up there. Exhale. Into cow. Angry cat. Inhale. Exhale. Into cow. Let's do that one more time. Inhale. And exhale. Excellent job. Let's bring those hips all the way up one more time. Lengthen through those hamstrings, through the calves. Really lifting those hips all the way up towards that ceiling. Opening up those shoulders. Take that good deep breath in. And exhale, let's bring it all the way back down to our tabletop. Let's take a seat onto our booty. Let's bring both knees in. And let's stretch through that spine. Getting that good spinal rotation. Let's bring it over to that other side. Continue to take that good deep breath in and out. Trying to make each breath longer than the last. Let's bring it back to center. Let's bring those legs out in front. And let's take one more good deep breath in. Deep breath out. Let's roll those shoulders back. You guys did absolutely phenomenal. You should be so proud of yourselves. You have made it through another fantastic core workout. So as always, thank you guys for tuning in and make sure to check back next time. Peace.